Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wood is seeing you here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I pray that you're walking in the blessings of the God of the Bible. I want to speak to you today about something that is near and dear to my heart. And uh, I want your undivided attention just for a few moments. You may or may not know that there is a video out there. Uh, it's, it's, it's entitled, it was Wood and Wrong. And uh, in the video, uh, something was done that uh, I strongly disapprove of. The video certainly does show me and the words that I say, I did say them, and I do not take them back. But there is something that is done that I wanted to speak to you about. The clip juxtaposes me with other preachers, and with the other preachers I'm not concerned about, but with this one in particular one, I am. It juxtaposes me with the leader of the Church of God in Christ, my leader, presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, and my dear friend, Bishop J. Drew Sheen. Again, he is my leader, he's God's man, and he's leading our great church. And I'm honored to be a member of the Church of God in Christ. I'm honored to be a part of the Board of Bishops of our great church. I'm honored to pastor the Upper Rome Church of God in Christ. I'm grateful for that God placed me in the Church of God in Christ, and I'm honored to serve as co-director of the men's ministry of the Church of God in Christ, and Bishop J. Drew Sheard uh, appointed me to uh, uh, this uh, position. As a matter of fact, throughout my ministerial career, Bishop Sheard had been very kind to me, and we have a very close relationship. So I wanted to speak to you about this because they took a clip uh, that, that was made, things that were said by me, and again, this is, I did say them, and I want to say for the record, I have not had a change of heart. I did say them, but I said them two or three years ago. I mentioned uh, now presidential candidate, presumptive candidate for the De Democrat Party, uh, Kamala Harris. And uh, at that time, she was vice president. And that is what I was speaking to. Well, what I was saying then was compared to something that the presiding bishop said about uh, uh, the presumptive Democrat nominee for the presidency just a few days ago, Kamala Harris. And the, the comparison is, uh, was uh, who's right? Well, uh, I think that things like that, I know that we can't prevent them, but I think they ought not to be done. Uh, the clip is not from our ministry. It's not from me. It's not from anyone who represents us. I want to say to the members of the Church of God in Christ out there and the body of Christ at large, we had nothing to do with that. And uh, I am a man under authority. I believe in organized religion. That's why I'm a part of the Church of God in Christ. The Apostle Paul was a part of organized religion. When James gave his ruling in, in Acts chapter number 15, and James uttered those famous words, my sentence is, and when he gave his sentence, uh, Paul and the Judaizers abided by what James had to say. This is found in Acts 15 and 19. Even Paul, when he wrote uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 4, he gave an account of where all of the preachers were in chapter number 4. And uh, uh, they were organized. And I strongly believe in that. And I am a part of this great church. And the presiding bishop is the leader of the church. Now, what I love about the Church of God in Christ is that our church uh, is a big tent. Our church is quite to use a, a, a word, diverse. Our church can uh, tolerate. Our church appreciates. Our church respect differing of opinions. Now, we do not differ on the doctrine of the church. We do not differ on the doctrine of the Bible. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Christ is coming again. He was born of a virgin. The Bible is the word of God. We are called to preach the Bible. These things, we believe in being filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance, and things of this nature. These are the teachings and the foundation principles of the 
church of God in Christ. And the ordinances of the church, feet washing, communion, and water baptism. On these things, we do not disagree on. We believe that Christ is the soon coming king. But when it comes to political issues and candidates and, and, and opinions on this person or that person, I thank God that we have a leader of our great church who appreciates and realizes that people have the right to differ. But, uh, but at the same time, we are united by the truth of God's word. So I want to bring this to a conclusion by saying to you simply, if you see this particular clip, just know that it was not from me. And by the way, of course, you know, I've already talked to the chief, my great leader. And when I called him and texted him and he called me and we talked about it, uh, we were with one accord and uh, both of us work hard to maintain our relationship. And here's a relationship. It's the relationship of a superior and a subordinate. I'm a bishop in the church, but he's the presiding bishop. And I'm honored to serve at his pleasure. I'm honored to serve in the church. So when people are there for whatever reason, sometimes it is to gain more attention. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't want to attack anyone. But I will say it is not a good practice uh, to take a, a member of the church and juxtapose that person against the presiding bishop or the leader of the church or even another member of the church if you're going to use something that was said two and three years ago and make it appear that it's it that this is something that I responded to that that uh, uh, that, there was, that the presiding bishop said yesterday that's not fair it's not fair at all and uh, so I wanted to speak to that. As I close, again, this is not about Kamala Harris. This is not about uh, President Trump. It's not about who you vote for or who you, or who you do not vote for. I say to the members of our church, vote your convictions. Study the word of God. Study the issues. Study to see where a politician stands. And then place your vote. And your vote is a sacred one. And make sure you make your vote. And live holy, live right, and let's carry on. That's the local church, and that's the church of God in Christ. So I pray that all of you will do it, and to the members of our great church and the body of Christ, just know that this preacher would never uh, make a video or send something out uh, from me where I am attacking or directly contradicting the presiding bishop of our great church. He's a tremendous man. He's a tremendous leader. He's a tremendous friend, and I'm pleased and honored to serve with him and to follow his leadership. Now look, make it a great day. And see, now, see, you thought I was going to fuss today, did you? Huh? Ah, you thought I was going to go. Don't get me started. Well, I don't have anything to get started about today. I just don't like what they did. Now don't y'all do that anymore. Use it. Whatever you want to use, use it, but do it right. All right. That's all for now. <laughs>